What's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at QQ and SPY as for the indices and we'll take a look at tech stocks, Microsoft, Apple, Google and Amazon. I did a video on Meta and Netflix already separately so check those videos out on my channel. You will find Netflix and Meta. Just go to my channel and you, you will just see them over there, okay? So I want to start off today, well, first with Microsoft, and let's talk about what's been going on over there with it. So, you are already familiar that, oh guys, sorry if I didn't let you know that none of this is any financial advice, it's only for education purposes, you are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. I'm only providing my input and opinion just as an educational content, okay? I take guarantee of nothing. Okay, so with Microsoft, what we were seeing is that the short play that I took, you can see it up over here on my screen. So this was the short play, full 100% position booked. I did take partial profits, right? Like one, I, I booked some of my profit position over here over the last day, two days, those last two days, I mean, and then I booked fully out when it hit my target as well. So this was a good profitable, uh, you know, trade on Microsoft, fully closed my position. Now, what do we have from thereafter? Is this going to continue lower or we still have some upside that may come? So in my opinion, right now, Microsoft needs to be only taken as an intraday play, not more than that. So intraday play would be for Monday, right? So I'll talk about that in just a second because right now, Microsoft for a longer term swing play is hard to sell. I'll show you more reasons, but first couple of reasons on the daily interval is that. So on the downside, right now we have the support of 20 moving average, 50, and also this trend line. It's not very ideal for Microsoft to just plummet straight like that. It's not going to happen like this. And it's still in this go ongoing uptrend, right? Higher highs, higher lows. This is, yes, it's a deeper pivot, I'll show you on the hourly interval in just a second couple of things, but it's still just a pivot because we are still above this 20 days moving average. And we are still trying to hold this support at this previous all time highs of $420.81. So all these items put together, this is still showing me a confluence of being still be still on the daily interval more bullish. So that's why I don't wanna open swing short on this. I don't even, this was the play short, we took it, made money. Let's now wait for the play to for next other plays to confirm, right? So let's go to the hourly interval because that's where we can um, put together a couple of things in the confluence that potential players may develop. Now this is where it gets interesting. If Microsoft gets above four hundred and twenty dollars on Monday and also about two hundred hours moving average again this will become again long play for coming days yes for the rest of the week actually not just for monday as soon as it breaks above 200 hours moving average and the level of um 420 or to put it simply 200 hours moving average is what we want to break above otherwise and this is on that that's the long play long play can become intraday long and also swing long but the short play is only intraday right now if we lose this level of 419 this could make its way down to this trend line and or the level of 415 but most importantly this trend line and then we'll have to see how the price action reacts there and we'll then see if it becomes swing short or starts to weaken up but right now i would say you know um it it yeah it is like 60 to 65 percent bulls can still turn it around but the confirmation is above 421. So in other words, it's only an intraday play on either side as what the levels I talked about and intraday can become swing as if we see a good momentum above 200 hours moving average. And for the swing short, no, there is no swing short right now. There was this, this swing short cool off play that we took that is already done and complete. Okay, so that's with Microsoft. Let's take a look at Apple. So Apple has been a bit of a funny, uh, you know, stock to trade lately. And so guys, this position that I had short on Apple, I fully booked out all of my 100% position. I sized out some hair, sized out some hair, and then I fully got out in this green candle. And yes, I'm seeing a sell off continue though, right? But that's fine. I still made a lot of money here and I'm happy with my play on Apple here. 
Now, what I'm expect, what I'm seeing first of all, well, I'm seeing that Apple is below 20 days moving average, okay? And Apple right now, yes, it's looking weak. And so it may continue lower, right? But here's also the thing to note, and this is where it's getting a little bit tricky here. Apple can turn itself a little bit intraday bullish if it gets above $173. And then it can make its way up again to 171 and 178. If we lose this zone of consolidation, then we have opened up the next leg to the downside, which would be around 165 at least. And right now, things I can just change a couple of things on my indicator. If you need, need access to my tools, guys, links are in the description below. So here we go. Let's move this timeline and we'll see some more levels uh, to watch that we are watching. There we go. I think um, I might have to do a little bit further back on Apple to capture those lower levels there. Uh, yeah, here we go. Got one at $162. That it's a possibility if we lose this consolidation zone of 168. Okay. Um, we have to go to the hourly interval to talk more about the things here. Now, here's the thing. It looked like the one of the days that it's setting up for upside and then it's sold off again at 200 hours moving average. So this thing is rejecting at 20 and 200 hours moving average. The reason I booked all of my profits here just because I saw this pullback, a good you know candle up, and yeah, I I I wasn't expecting this sell off back then because I'm like this is holding really good support and that candle came really nice. And it's just unfortunate that it's sold off. But hey, I'm st I still made all the money on the short side. I'm not worried. I'm just seeing that what is the next play developing. So yeah, to for to play it bullish, it it has to get above that um, you know on daily interval above 20 days moving average and these levels of 200 hours moving average and above. Right now, yes, it is again looking in the bearish camp to me. All right, let's take a look at Google and talking about Google, it's going to be very simple, guys. So Google, again, we, you can already see those short plays in the past that we have taken. Right now, so Google is stagnating at the all-time highs. And whenever this stagnation happens, I get careful because it's like an uphill battle. It's not like a momentum up. It's like being pushed up on the mountain, but, you know, buyers are exhausting. So it's about the flush time that can happen. We got that on Netflix as well. Check out my video on Netflix that I did that will teach you a lot about what's been going on so google is only an intraday play right now so and that is break below 150 is an intraday short play to 148 and 85 cents and or maybe lower up to 200 hours moving average but size and size out with a stop loss and google is a long play and a breakout play above 151 and 64 cents it's just chopping around after that exhaustion so be prepared there's a likelihood that if it loses this level of 150 and 40 cents it will continue lower and yeah because buyers are exhausting we have started to form a little bit lower highs already so uh, just be careful uh, so but long is still possibility if we can break on good volume above 151 and 67 cents okay so you have to trade with these two levels on google amazon is you know i'll just say a very simple thing if it comes down to 200 hours moving average you can try just buying it and just trade it for into the extension uh, this is not, I, I don't want to trade it intraday and this is just more like if this zone which is holding right now, right, this VIX, this is what I talked about back then, back here as well, when price was here, I said, if it comes down to around 200 hours moving average, this is where the VIX have also formed, so this is where support has been holding, this can give another leg up. Um, yeah, so there's a cool, again, this is more just like, hey, if it breaks 179.55 cents, it can come down to 200 hours moving average. If it holds supports, it can be traded again up to the upside. Yeah, I am not trading Amazon. It's just very choppy, like directionless right now. Well, when I say directionless, no, it's having a bullish direction, but it's just not having that strength. This is a very, like a slow stock, like a, you know, turtle here, like Jeff Bezos. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um... Yeah, it's not bearish though right now. No, no. You know, you can try buying the pullbacks, but not below 176. If we lose that level, yeah, we will receive a flush then. All right, that's Amazon. As I said, I did Meta and Netflix already. Check those videos out on my channel. Let's take a look at QQQ and SPY now. 
So, QQQ. Well, what we have is... So QQQ is trying its best. Last time I talked about, is it a potentially a bull flag setting up, right? That's still not out of the picture, guys. We are still above 20 days moving average and we are above $441. If we lose this and well, with this sort of double top, we can have some more downside, but it's not swing bearish, like bearish as in bearish direction, it's not. That would be if we lose 433. This is still in the distribution phase though but it's just denying to confirm that it's just every time getting bought back up and this is very much looking like a bull flag to me and if we break on a strong volume 447 or 48 consider it just making another leg up so let's go to the hourly interval and let's talk a couple of things over there so every day what is happening is this thing gaps up in the pre-market sells off during the market open gaps up in the pre-market sells off in the market open so these are also the signs that because it's easy to move the market in the pre-market or post-market because less volume is needed to stock move the price and then all these big hedge funds that it takes little volume to move but then they can sell off their other you know on that when the price is high up so this also tells you that the big sellers are selling up at out at the top you can see these big volumes coming in with these red sell-offs as well right like look at it this red big red candle right over here so any push to the upside is being sold off so it's hard to say if this is a bull flag it looks like a bull flag too much extended though but we it's in caution because it's right at the top as well so if that's why i'm saying that if you can stay a little bit away for a couple of days on this that's great 441 and below will at least give some clean break to the downside and if it is going to be a bull flag then break above 447 is the clean break to the upside so wait until the levels of 447 for the upside and 441 to the downside that's what my suggestion would be you can go and do whatever you like spy so spy is in this bullish channel and it's denying denying all the time to get out of this channel it is it is fully in the bullish channel guys this thing is denying to come down so look at it higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher high higher lows higher high higher lows <laughs> funny hey eh? um yeah yeah junior trader what to do here like how, how do you even trade this thing this thing is just rocking the boat here absolutely guys so this is the all-time high it tested 524 and 17 cents it is not bearish that sure that cool off which one of this cool off that i talked about let's show let me show you on the hourly interval we got that cool off and that was it that was the play um and that was pretty much came back i talked about it that as it was getting this stagnating here i talked about flush will come and we'll keep heading down down but i said watch this level of 518 due to this previous support i said so i said check out my videos and that's why i say always that check out my videos guys because i talk about all these plays before they even happen i give you all the levels that you need to be watching so uh to take the right trades you have to trade with these levels and the price action so we found the support there right and then we started to go up again and it's a pivot formed right already so it's already in that higher high guys so is it bearish no it's not bearish spy is still bullish and if it breaks out of 524 it closed way high up there yeah then guys it's it's gonna make again new all-time highs this thing can keep going up and up and up this is not bearish in any form or fashion uh anything on the short side also i don't want to trade on it let me adjust something real quick on my indicator here let's do the indicator depth level high i just want to see something here here we go yeah so if spy loses this level intraday only if it loses 522 78 cents it's a short play down to 521 and otherwise yeah if it breaks up 524 it's an upside play it's not a swing shot just so you know not a swing shot okay well guys and also if you need access to my tools links are in the description below i have two indicators two trading bots wall street alerts as well all the tools links are in the description below of this video with that i'll see you in my next videos guys take care bye